so yeah, listen, we're, our guys are really disappointed, you know, it's, you know, we knew it's going to be a tough challenge coming over here, um, they've thrown a lot into the game, um, and unfortunately we've just come up short, um, the narrowest way really, so yeah, no, bitterly disappointed for our guys. Yeah, obviously the, the obvious question is going to come up, and I'm sure somebody, if I don't ask it, somebody else is going to ask it, third season URC um, not getting through to the final, and obviously without the trophy now for the third season. Um, yeah, listen, like, there's so much, you know, when you're fighting on two fronts, like, it takes its toll, definitely, for sure. Um, but from our point of view, listen, we're, we're very, very close to it, and that's the thing. So, you know, this group will, will be the same again, like every squad at this stage of the season. So, you've got some great servants that are moving on. We'll have some other players that will come into the group next year, um, and we'll go again. So, we'll do everything we can to try and get ourselves into this situation again and be better. So, um, usually frustrating the way that has played out for us. You know, it's been a, it's always a challenge in this, this season, you know, particularly if you think World Cup, um, the length of the season, these our guys are on the go since what, probably pre this time uh, last year. So it's like, it's, there's always challenges these, these types of seasons. So for now, listen, we'll go back and reflect and uh, make a plan for next year and make sure we come back stronger. A lot of you guys hadn't been to the office before. Um, a lot of them will be returning in a couple of weeks' time in, in that emerald green jersey. Do you think they've picked up valuable experience here for that? Um, well, they had probably a little bit more time in terms of planning the trip anyway. Um, but yeah, they're sort of aware of some of the plans that they have for a couple of weeks' time. So, um, But definitely, it's a great experience for them to really experience it. Um, I'd imagine Ireland will travel out a little bit earlier than probably that we, what we did. So... Um, but yeah, listen, it's an amazing atmosphere here today. It's a fantastic stadium. Uh, I thought the ball shows, you know, a lot of fight, a lot of physicality. Um, again, like we knew that they would. So, and I thought they really, you know, like as in, you've got to give me a huge amount of credit for the way they performed today. Uh, you mentioned that you struggled to, to just get that final, final hammer dough in at the end. Obvious question as well. Do you think it, has something to do with altitude. The guys looked really tired towards the end. Um, yeah, like I think you see the Bulls guys that were going down as well. Any break of play, so there was players going down. You know, even the Bulls guys who were used to the, the day in day out of playing here. Um, so listen, I thought our guys looked okay to be honest in comparison. So, um, but you've got to give a lot of credit to the Bulls for the way they they fought and you know they stuck in the contest. You know, so they're making tackles, getting back on their feet. And they showed that desperation in terms of their defence. So I think that was probably the difference. We couldn't just quite get across the line there. So um, you, you there's parts maybe we can do better for sure, yeah. But again, you know, you've got to give credit the Bulls the credit that they deserve because they're coming up with big moments defensively where they're barging breakdowns, uh, making life difficult for us, and we couldn't just quite get over the line, unfortunately. Coach, you mentioned that um, um, the players were had a bit more intensity today, just a bit more bite. Do you think? Um, just your team found it difficult to make to make that adjustment in terms of um, just uh, going up against the home side. Um, yeah, listen, they thought our guys were. It's not like we weren't in the contest, were we? You know, so we're there in it. Um, as I said, like there was probably a big swing. You know, we get seven nil. We go seven nil ahead. You know, but there's still another eight minutes on the bin, and you know that's a period where we need to ram home our advantage. But again, like really rude, we don't quite get the backfield right. He exploits the space. They get the line out. They build a bit of pressure on us. Obviously, they, they score eventually. So, and um, they hit us with a try and start the second half. Listen, but uh, all our guys were composed all the way through that period. So, um, we fight our way back into the game, and we build some good pressure. Eventually, get over from the from the tap penalty uh, play that we we score off. So, um, and again, this is sort of there's a moment, isn't it? Like there's an aerial contest and balls get it and they score a try, and that's the difference between the two teams. So, there was nothing really in the contest that didn't think. Um, Two, as I said, two very good teams going at it. Um, unfortunately, which were quite good enough today. Um, just to, one last question. I'm um, just in terms of game management from the from the side. Um, would you feel that maybe you left a lot on the field in terms of just playing the right areas and managing just the tempo of the game? Um, yeah, like I thought, is that we want to be able to play with a high tempo as well. So you know, Bulls tried to have lift the tempo. I think in the early part of the game, you know, after half time. Because the game, you know, it's a bit clear in terms of what we needed to do. So, number particularly when we're 10 points down. But, listen, I thought we were pretty dominant for that period of 15, 20 minutes. Um, yeah. And when the bench guys came on, I thought they all added impacts in their own different ways. So, um, I said there wasn't much in it. But, again, Bulls came up with a, 
a couple of big turnovers at some vital moments. So that's it. That's the difference. But you've got to give them a huge amount of credit for the way they own there. Coach, the amount of kicking surprised a lot of people that you get other jokes as they book book or you get other deals. <laughs> or is it a question of two great minds in the night? <laughs> well, I just think that's part of the game, isn't it? Like, you know, you're playing big games um, at this time of year. And you know, particularly some of those early exchanges that you're making sure you're not playing yourself into trouble. Um, you know, some of our contestable kicks were good. You know, when, when it went to the long kicking game, you know, probably Bulls maybe shaded that area of the contest. But, you know, so we were just trying to get a little bit of balance there. Um, but yeah, listen, we know, you know, in terms of Goose and what's Philly LaRue, like they're two very good exponents in terms of the, the use to the ground, the conditions, etc. So, um, Chef has said, like, it was an unbelievably close contest, and unfortunately, we are not the winners at the end of it. Right, exactly. Of course, um, you mentioned that some of your players will be moving from the team after this particular season. Is that not a worry that you might have to then start the process again after having such a settled, dominant group? Uh, now that you probably have to start another process again, does that not get you worry about uh, the next season? Well, I'm always worried, so I am. So, um, <laughs> Uh, but I suppose there's always a natural bit of evolution to that. So, you know, we, we have some players will join us as well. We have some more younger guys who will come through. Um, this is like the age profile of our group is pretty good. There's lots of experience being accumulated all the time. Some has been positive and some, but unfortunately, hasn't been. Um, you know, the guys that are there, like they should be proud of the efforts that they put in this season. Um, you know, as I said, you know, this has been our sixth playoff game. And we've lost a game, you know, it's a game that was what, all square with whatever it is, 15, 20 minutes to go. And this is both club with a big moment, individual moment in terms of an aerial kick. Um, you know, so it's, it's again, like I said, it's sometimes painful for this to go through. But um, I would have strong belief in the group and the players that we have that once they get over the line, they will be able to kick on and be usually successful in terms of some of the trophies that they will potentially win into the future. So, um, but yeah, for the guys that are, you know, we have some great servants that are going to leave the group. Um, you know, Ross Maloney came off the bench there today. You know, he's played over what, 180 games, I think, for Leinster. Michael Alato came off the bench as well. He's been fantastic since he's joined us from the Crusaders. You know, we've got a guy, Ed Byrne, who is, he wasn't even, he's travelled here with the group, but, you know, he was in the travelling reserves for this week again. Some that's given over, he's played over 100 times for the club. So, but, you know, those guys have been replaced by younger guys that will come through and fill their slots and, um, that's the evolution of the group that we have primarily. You know, we have a few overseas signings that are coming in. Um, we have some players that didn't travel that, again, will finish up at the end of the season as well. Um, so, yeah, listen, I think that's just the natural evolution of the group. I think our numbers generally stay pretty similar. We want to keep investing in the young guys all the time. We've got some good young guys that will be, hopefully, the stars of the future. And lastly, does this seem more... I mean, best opportunity when you look at the amount of Star Wars that the energy was in the had team tonight. A lot of people would have said that with the amount of test experience that, that you have on your side and the test experience that those have lost uh, in the last couple of weeks swayed the tangent a lot more on your side and you guys would probably would have been the this already. Uh, yeah, because there's two good teams going on. Like, I think when you come away to South Africa, you're playing at altitude, it's always a challenge, isn't it? Because like, it's different to what we're used to. Um, and we had lots of opportunities, I think, in the game. So, yeah, listen, you've got to give, as I said all along, like you've got to give credit to the Bulls because I think the way they defended in particular, um, they threw their bodies on the line and they come up with some big moments defensively. So um, it's frustrating for our guys. But, listen, they can't fault the efforts and the character that they've shown today, but all, also all through the, the season as well. So it's fine margins uh, in these playoff games. Um, you know, we knew the importance of, you know, obviously you're trying to get home comforts, but we obviously we've lost home semi finals in the past as well. So, um, it's something for the group, they just got to learn. Um, when we come back in for pre season next year, we just got to get back to work. You know, this season is unusual because you don't have a pre season because so many guys were away during the World Cup. And um, so, we had a lot of moving parts in terms of this year. You know, we'd say Jack has come in post World Cup, um, where you're sort of what he arrives in December time. We had Andrew Goodman away during the World Cup as well. So, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to our all our staff, backroom team, because, you know, there's a lot of effort has gone in to get us to this point and we're, you know, so, so close to it. Um, and when you lose, it can feel sometimes like you're 
a million miles away from us. But the reality is, like this mm. Champions Cup final, where you know we were drop goal away from winning the game in normal time, and and today, you know, it's like the game is tied again right up to the very end. So you know, it's just making sure we're better in some of those real clutch moments. I think will be the challenge for us then moving forward and the real focus for us. But as I said, it's got to you know go back to the start again. New group, get them together, bonded. Uh, work hard and look forward to the challenge ahead next season. Two more uh, MW and now Chance. I asked you yesterday about the, the 16th player. How much of that effect did you see? Do you think that it had tonight? Um, the actual crowd that pitched up in the way that they participated in the game, almost. And definitely, yeah. Like you can see in terms of the response that they get from the from the Bulls players, and you know, I've heard some of the Bulls players talk about the crowd and. You know, we look back at some of the games, you know, particularly say the Stormers game that the Bulls played here, but it's it's close to full house, and you see that the, the lift and the energy that gives. And listen, we've been on, we've been beneficiaries of, of that ourselves a lot this season. You know, thinking back to some of the great moments that we've had uh, this year. You know, we played a knockout last 16 game uh, against Leicester Tigers in Uviva. The following week here, you have a game sold out. With over 52,000 people, it's 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 sold out. The following week in La Rochelle. Um, go to Crum Park, yeah, I think 2,000 people there. Um, so we've had unbelievable support throughout the course of the season, so we know what that feels like. So, um, yeah, um, people got to give the Bulls fans definitely some praise in amongst this place for sure. Yeah, yeah um, notwithstanding, as you say, you know, the result basically came down to one one hand in an aerial contest, um, but. For obvious reasons of game management, competing in, in two big tournaments at the same time, a lot of your team tonight, this would have been their first visit to Lofty Stress. Do, do you think that had, that had any role in the results? Was that a factor? Um, I don't know. Um, is the honest answer? Um, it's experience, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, we've been to grounds before where we haven't played in and we've come away with win. So um, I think they'll be better for the experience for sure in the future. So whether that's playing with Ireland in a couple of weeks' time or playing with Leinster whenever we return here um, next season. So um, definitely we'll, it'll be better for the experience. But I think even if you've been here, I don't think it's going to be any easier when you come back. Um, it's a tough place to come. You know, Bulls have a very strong home record, um, as you all are well aware of, I'm sure, um, in playoff games, but in regular season games as well. So, um, yeah, does that answer the question? Yeah, yeah. Come last track, Chris. Thanks, Coach. Uh, you talked about moments in the game, and despite that 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 try where that thing was scored on you, where Sergio Pearson went down there, you were still in the game very late, just a few minutes left in the game, about seven, if I recall correctly. And you had phase after phase after phase. You gave credit to the Bulls some great defense. There. Would you say that was probably the moment uh, that might not have been able to secure that win late in the game, about seventy fourth minute, when you couldn't break through and get that try? It definitely, like that's that's it, isn't it? Like you know, so she missed a conversion, so it's a five point game. You know, for us, we're on the attack, um, out and away, whatever it is, 20 odd phases, is it? And um, Bulls hold firm, um, and we can't quite get across the line. And they get make a couple of the turnover, and we never really get another decent opportunity again. So, um, yeah, listen, it's it's frustrating from our point of view. You know, we probably had chances earlier on in the game. As I said, the first half, you go back to that point, you know, if you build a bit more of a, a lead, it forces the Bulls into. Playing slightly differently, doing things, you know, trying to chase the game. So, of course, we don't get to that point. So, um, as you point out, like it's a good aerial contest that they win. And, um, yes, that is the game, unfortunately. Well, cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Uh, okay, guys, back in uh, Dublin or back in Ireland. Um, I'll open it up to the floor here, but um, if anyone wants to lead us off with a couple of questions, please. Three. Signed. Thanks, Johnny. Okay. Josh just said on TV, he saw it to go either way, certainly last and hence, physically felt watching it or dear. Yeah, it was a really tight game, wasn't it? So, um, you know, probably what we've been discussing here is, you know, I suppose over the broader part of the game, um, you know, we, we know that the Bulls will come out, uh, all guns blazing, firing, hit us in lots of different areas, aerial contests, but. You know, if they get the opportunity, they'll try and keep the ball in play and you know, try and make, particularly the way teams travel, kind of 
that suffer mentality. Um, I told our guys really stood up to that test well. Um, you know, we, we scored a try, James gets to try when uh, they lose a man to the bin. Um, and that was the period, you know, whereas I didn't think we really ran home our advantage, unfortunately, at that stage. So um, we get exposed in the backfield, uh, 52 and then we go on to score from there at 7 all. Loops we get a family just before our time. So, um, but after conceding the try at the start of the second half, then I think we had a strong period of the game where you know, we had plenty of momentum um, in it. We were testing a different sort of facets. A uh, couple of families kicked the corner eventually out for the, for the tap penalty and you know, it's game on and you know, we make tips of different breaks and I think the bench guys are coming on and everyone's adding in their own different way. Uh, but again, just a couple of errors and we don't quite deal with a few different things. Um, there's an unbelievably skill turns that area contest to bring the ball for that try at the end and even we you know, we have chances after that but the balls you know were unbelievably resolute and dogged in defence and I deserve more credit for the way they won the game yeah they certainly did the very beginning of the first half they were taking it across the field they were kicking I it, it certainly they said that they're stalled my dirty that's that's what they were going to do and yeah, I suppose it paid off. He's sort of being positive here. <laughs> Don't know how he got the ball. It looks like you're at it. Uh, did you talk about that at half time? That was exactly what we were doing. How you were going to counter that? Yeah, definitely. Things that we've discussed all week really about in terms of some of their kicking game, the strategy that we would have. So it's something that would have been well scaled. Um, yeah. But yeah, they, they were they were good in terms of that, and you know, it's a pity for the goddess that they win. So, um, yeah, yeah, didn't quite deal with it Thanks, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, Neil, just a quick one. Oh, sorry. Leo, just a quick one. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're taking questions from Dublin now. Thank you. We're taking. Thank you. Oh yeah. So now you're okay, though. Sorry, Dan. There's, I, I think I don't know if this is different to the question. I wanted to try to stop your mouth and look like this add to reflection for a summer, like a similar trophy god looking good. It is a day that I need to change from after the champions. But, um, yeah, the like Edwards go to the dressing room there. You know, it's, it's, uh, you can leave you a pretty empty feeling there. So, um, there's so much good work that's gone into the season. We've had some amazing days on the course of it. Um, and so there's lots to be proud of. We've had unbelievable support. Um, we haven't been quite good enough, A, in the final, um, and then B, when we travel away. And listen, it's one of the toughest places to, to go and win a game, a playoff game. And you, know, you look back through the, through the history records, you know, particularly of Super Rugby and some of the wins that they, they've had here at the ball. So, um, and there's, you know, when you're here, you understand it, like the crowd, the organisation, the setup, everything about the place. So, um, you know, we go away and reflect, yeah, like as in we've we've a coaching group, see with Andrew Goodman, he'll go away to Ireland, we've a new coach coming in, so like and we we build and we go again. Um but that's for another day. So it's reflecting and how we can improve and each is you touched on here as well that we've that's, we've got some great surgeons that will be moving on. Uh, different challenges. Um uh, some guys retiring, other guys moving to different clubs, um and we'll have some fresh bases coming in to join us as well. And, um, it's just how we go about it in terms of building that group together again. Um, you know, we'll have the advantage of a, a coaching group that'll be there for pre-season, which probably we didn't have the season just gone. So um, these World Cup years can be can be tricky for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll build again and go again and come back stronger and get back to working hard. And we're the ones chasing now, you know what I mean? So because if we've got to chase... And, Whoever whoever comes in on top, we'll see what three teams left in the URC. But um, we'll see what we say in terms of Champions Cup and what does that look like in terms of the draw, etc. Um, and yeah, listen, it's 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 a challenge, but listen, we'll we'll build again and get the group. And listen, there's some good young guys going through, and you'll see them emerge. I think as the course of the season, some guys that you've seen already. So. Um, yeah, at least a few, as I said, some of the guys that will be joining us from outside as well. So, you're going to be exhausted. Uh, it's more like a match. You know, Jamison got up. What do we have to say? 
but it's starting to get helped as well because obviously the temple that he brings to the store. You know, at that stage, when you fast, the face that creates all the human tissue, they put out to do it. So, he's not a key moment, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's in typical self, yeah. Um, I'm not sure about that, the clean out there, so. Um, but yeah, Luffy comes on this and he's usually an experienced player, so I wouldn't worry too much there. But um, yeah, that was he losing Jamo. I'm not sure exactly how bad he is, but we'll get him assessed him. We'll see. Last one from the floor in Dublin, please, guys. Thank you. Yeah, the play to you. Um, can I just ask, just, just yourself, coach, I'm very slightly. Why are um yes like everyone wants to win trophies here like isn't the club is usually ambitious um yeah, you see the club here that we're currently sitting in is no different you know when you look at the the honors wall that they have here so um and that's what we're up against. You know, we've, we've lost in the final to Toulouse, and we've lost in the semi final away here to, um, to the Bulls. You know, so two clubs that are are steeped in history and, and have a winning culture as well. So, um, and we want to be up there with them. So, um, for us now, it's yeah, it's, it's been a long season, so it's rest, recover. You know, a lot of guys will go away on tour and they'll be back here, and you know, hopefully, they will be better for the experience of. Being here this week, um, and they will pick up more experience by being here, as I said, a few weeks' time as well. So, when they do come back to us, that they have a greater understanding about how you go and navigate your way to try and get a more positive outcome than we got today. So, um, against a much different opposition, but with some of the same players that will feature. So, um, yeah, like Grayson, we're into unbelievably tough competitions, um, and um, yeah, this we. We need to keep working and get better. Um, as I said, we've got some good young players that we kind of picked up experience this year and we need them to push through and be better. You know, with some of the people that are coming in, both in terms of the background coaching wise, but also the player group uh, players as well that we that we've signed. So um we will build and we will go again, show some character. You know, we showed I think the group showed a lot of resolve to come back from where they have been over the last couple of years. So it's disappointing to be left with the same outcome isn't it so which is a, a one score loss in the UFC semi-final and a um and what like it's a game that goes gets tied in the Champions Cup final so it doesn't get much closer than that so unfortunate um but of course as a group listen they just need to learn and as I said I think when they get across the line they will be able to kick on from there but we just need to work as work hard at trying to get it lost in the first place okay Thanks, gents. Thanks, guys. And thank you to everyone here as always.